we have seen many indicators travel back to what I call the financial crisis part two. Hundreds of examples have popped up over the past few years showing the instability of the markets, wildly erratic and unsustainable. When we reach new records, we need to be cautious and careful. You came here for the truth. Today, we are going to look at a few indicators, some old, some new. Let's begin right away and try to make this quick video. U.S. corporate profits after tax. When we look at this, we need to take it for what it is. Look at this and just hold it in the back of your mind. It's something that I always look at because corporate profits are all that companies care about. It's very clear. When they say we are going to increase productivity to appease the shareholders and they fire half of their employees, you know that it's all about corporate profits. Simply the way it is. What we have seen here, previous in history, dot-com bubble right here and pre-financial crisis bubble seems to be similar to what is occurring right now. And there's no doubt that corporate profits have increased over the years. However, I'm seeing a stagnation in these periods and it's a cause for concern. That's all I'm saying. When, you know, Obviously, corporate profits will then rebound back and increase, just like the stock market does. It just concerns me of a crash. That's all. It's another indicator piling up. A lot of people don't want to look into the this kind of information, but it's simply the way it is. I'm just bringing it to you. Take it for what it is. Let's move on to the next one. Piling in, investors are returning to stocks, pushing flows into mutual funds and ETFs to the highest level on record. You can see it right here at the end. It's very clear what's happening. Global net equity fund flows. When you give people no incentive to save, they have to go out and look for investments. They don't want to save it in the bank. They want to put it into investment, whether it's mutual funds or stocks or anything else. They're trying to seek riskier and riskier bets in order to make some money because inflation is going up, their housing prices are going up, energy prices, food prices, everything else. This is a way for them to get in there, try to make some back. That's all I wanted to bring to you for this chart. This is it right here. The P.E. ratio, just one of many. I like to quote the P.E. ratio as regular as possible. It's something that I believe is important. It's key. For when you're looking at you know, technical analysis, this is one of the most important indicators. I wrote about it in my book, in fact. Surpassed it where we are right now, nearly 30 in the P.E. ratio. Let's take for a moment the time it was higher, and that is during the dot-com boom, when the P.E. ratios were completely absurd. Everyone knew that. It's going to go down in the history books for the foreseeable future as the most insane time in terms of stock valuations. So for a moment, if you would, let's just pretend that's not there. You have... Black Monday, it's exceeded that by many times. And right here, basically around the same thing, basically at 30, Black Tuesday, we are talking about the Great Depression. We are at the same level in terms of P.E. ratios as the Great Depression. We've gone back way beyond what we saw 2008, going back before Black Monday and all of the others, and now essentially at the same level as the Great Depression. Alarm bells should be ringing off, but of course, they're not. 
Let's cover these very quickly here. Fortune 500 fastest growing companies. And what I'm seeing is not necessarily the company itself, although you'll see, for example, Facebook. Technology is one of the sectors. Healthcare is another of the sectors. And you look at a lot of these names on here, for example, Salesforce, Facebook, and there are others. Let's say, you know, PayPal, Apple, are these companies the same companies that were around a hundred years ago? Most of the biggest companies today were not around a hundred years ago or much less than that. Times change. You have to remember that. Very important to note. Times change. We need to change our strategies. We need to understand the cycles where we are at. And we need to know ultimately in the end how to become self-sufficient because this stuff is way out of whack. Fortune 500 fastest shrinking companies. And I see a very, very clear pattern. You don't need to have a high IQ for this one. Look at this. Energy, energy, energy. We're looking at oil companies, petroleum, ConocoPhillips. Energy companies losing out because they're not able to pull oil or any of the derivatives out of the ground at the dollar figures that they would like. They used to be, you know, at $150 a barrel or $110 a barrel, depending on the, the bull. And now they're, let's say, at $50 a barrel and they're just not making the money they used to. Corporate profits are suffering. And as a result, these companies are shrinking dramatically. They're laying off people. People are suffering as a result. Fortune 500 growth rate by sector. As I described before, healthcare in far in the first place. Technology as well. And food and drug stores. All right. Healthcare, what has happened? Obamacare has taken this to the number one spot. That's ultimately what I want to get to, what I wanted to mention here. When you see what has happened, now, healthcare, of course, it's uh, pharmaceuticals. These are, you know, uh, I want to be politically correct. Healthcare, pharmaceuticals, are there to help people. Unfortunately, it's not really what it is, and I'm really trying hard to be politically correct here. It's not coming out, though. <laughs> Essentially, what's happened with Obamacare, nothing good has come out of this. You're spending more on health care, yet people are dying every single day. People are getting more sick. They're getting more diseases. There is more infections. There is more problems that exist today and every single day after that. Nothing is getting resolved, yet more and more and more money is spent on this garbage. More percentage of your wealth is going towards healthcare through the taxation, through everything. Maybe, you know, if somebody gets sick, more money has to go in that direction. And it just shows me the amount of, simply the amount of money that's being generated in that way. And then you see all the CEO bonuses. You see all of the turmoil that exists out there. And there are corporate profits at the bottom line of it all. If you found this video informative, please give me a thumbs up. When you give me a thumbs up, when you share these videos on your you on YouTube and Facebook and Twitter and everything else, it helps me out. It helps to basically make these videos come up on the YouTube and Google and all these search rankings. So you're helping me out. You're helping your uh, fellow truth seeker out as well. So I do appreciate that very much every single time.
If you found this video informative, I know you'll find my book, The Money GPS, and my new release, Global Economic Collapse, even more informative. The first book talks about the four asset classes, how to profit from them, gives you the history as well. My new book talks more about earning income, reducing your debt, becoming self-sufficient, and everything else. So they're very different, although they cover sort of the same type of topics, they're definitely a different focus. There has been a great response to my new book. I want to thank each and every one of you for purchasing it, for reading it. And once you're done reading it, hand it to someone else. Get them to read the book. If I can, I did it on my first book. If you buy the book in paperback format for 99 cents, you can get the Kindle format. That was an option that I selected. I have to look if I can do this for the new book or if it's possible. But anyway, I did that on purpose because I want people to be able to share the book with other people. So if you buy the paperback, you can then get the Kindle at 99 cents. So I hope everyone does that if you're interested, if you have a Kindle or whatever. That's all for this video. If you want to look through the books, just go to Amazon. They have a look inside feature. You can flip through them. Take care.